Hey guys, welcome to Chris's Clock Shop. So today I've got a unique situation. I've got this Immortian Furniture George Nelson battery clock. And it fell off the wall and the hands were loose. So the guy asked me to replace it and um, he said he needed it in six days before he moves out of town. So it's a real challenge and uh, I thought it'd be as simple as just replacing the battery movement, but I'm going to show you why it's not so simple. And I'm going to show you my solution to the problem. Okay, so first things first, I actually um, found that uh, the centerpiece here is was uh, loose because inside the plastic movement I'm gonna take the hands off, okay? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here's the original movement. And you can see it's kind of unique in that this hand, it's got a long shaft that rides on the outer plastic here, like so. So the minute hand has a long metal piece that actually had press fits inside the inner diameter of the plastic, okay? But what happened is the plastic on the inside cracked. And so it would not hold the shaft, this metal shaft tight so that the hand was falling basically. So essentially this movement is no longer gonna work and hold these hands tight. And I can't replace or repair that really. So the answer is to replace the movement. However, a normal replacement movement such as this, um, the metal piece that normally holds the minute hand that this orange hand would normally sit on is really short. It's got to be much longer, right? In fact, I can pop this out of here and I'll show you if I was to pop that out of there. About that long. Okay, so I took the hand off of this gold piece. This silver piece is what came out of the replacement movement. It's far too short. And in fact, this was longer. I cut it and then I filed this down. I'll show you why in a minute. To complicate matters further, the thread and the, sh the size of the fitting for the minute hand is much smaller on this clock than it is on a standard battery clock replacement. So I want to use this original piece but I have to modify it. I have to modify it so that I can attach it to the replacement movement so that it's sticking out far enough to clear the hour hand. So the hour hand is going to go on like so. Right? And I need this metal piece to go in here. I need to go in there and stick out far enough to where I can attach the minute hand and they clear and they clear the case of the clock. So the way I'm going to do that is I cut off this end, leaving a hole here. And what I'm going to do is, I thought this is quite genius, I'm actually going to drill out some, to a size 30 gauge drill. And then I'm actually going to use my four millimeter tap, which is the thread of the replacement movement. The thread here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna turn the end of this metal piece into a threaded rod and actually just thread it on top of this rather than pulling this out 
and pushing this one in because the diameter of this original piece is far too small as compared to this one. All right, so we're gonna do a little work on the lathe. So I got my lathe set up here. The original gold piece from the George Nelson clock here. And I got my drill. So I've got a smaller size drill. Uh, I'm gonna gradiently cut up to get to my full 30 gauge drill bit size to get it ready for tapping. All right, so there you have it. I've drilled the hole to the size I needed. And now I'm gonna tap that hole so it'll thread right on the end of my new battery movement. Okay, so let's try this out. So here I've got my original gold centerpiece. And what I did was cut a 30 gauge size hole in there with my lathe. And then I tapped it out with my four millimeter tap. It should be the correct thread size for my new movement. Now this is actually not the movement I'm going to use, but it's for the purpose of testing out what I created. We're going to see if this works. And the idea is that this threads right onto here. And voila! So now I should be able to put Um, our hand there and look at that I got my piece sticking out just enough to where I can put on my minute hand so I'm going to go ahead and install the new movement in the case and then install my hands and make sure it's working correctly all right guys so there it is putting the hands on our hand on there and you can see old piece that I modified sitting out the top in a hand put on there okay there we go so I'm gonna put a battery in there make sure she's running right okay so I just set her on time it's 1103 was when I set it on time so uh, we'll check it a couple hours later make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do and uh, we'll deliver it on time no problem <laughs>